Hi, I'm Jake, and you may be wondering if autistic people may be able to um, memorize dates. Judge for yourself. Okay, I'm going to start in the 1400s and gradually get to the 1600s. 1466, Bartolome de las Casas born. 1488, um, Bartolome Diaz reaches the Cape of Good Hope. 1492, um, Spain unites um, on October... He, I mean, uh, Christopher Columbus also sets out for the New World, and October 12th, he will reach the New World. 1493, Columbus's second voyage starts, where he has um, at least 12 ships. It was 12 or 15, so. And also the line of demarcation between Portugal and Spain. 1494, um, Treaty of Tordesillas. 1498. Vasco da Gama reaches India after traveling around Africa. 1502, Columbus's third or fourth voyage. Um, 1504, Christopher Columbus um, will um, die. Um, 1513. Vasco Núñez de Balboa reaches the Isthmus of Panama and is the first European to see the Pacific Ocean from the Americas. I'm pretty sure plenty have seen it when they went to Indonesia, so. All right, also in 1513, um, Juan Ponce de Leon um, will reach Florida. For the first time, he will go to Florida again in 1521, but will be killed by Indians, unfortunately. 1517, Vasco Nunez de Balboa is the head for treason. 1519, Francis Pizarro um, will set out from, wait, um, actually he was um, Ferdinand Magellan, sorry, I'm getting confused. Ferdinand Magellan sets out from Spain in 1519 to circumnavigate the world. He will be the, f be the first to complete this. However, he gets killed by Indians in Indonesia in, 15 in, in 1521, while the rest of his crew eventually will reach um, Spain on the Victoria in 1522. Also in 1519, Hernan Cortes um, will reach the Yucatan Peninsula and will start his conquest of the Aztecs. In 1520, there's going to be something called the Nosh Triste, or Sad Night, where um, the Spanish are going to be um, pushed back to the Yucatan Peninsula. In 1521, Hernan de Soto, wait, um, Hernan Cortez will capture the Aztecs at Tenochtitlan and will eventually destroy the city too, even though it was made up out of solid gold. 1531, Francisco Pizarro will set out from Panama and will reach Peru that same year. 1533, he will conquer the Incas with only 180 men versus a 70,000 army, if I'm correct. Um, the capital will be moved from Cusco to Lima. 1539, Hernan de Soto starts his voyage. Well, it wasn't really a voyage because it was on land. But he goes from Florida all the way up to Mississippi. He'll die on the Mississippi from getting hit by an arrow. And the rest of his crew will reach, I mean, will head back down to Mexico. 15, um, they reach Mexico again in 1542. 1540, Coronado starts his voyage. Um, he will be the first European to see the Grand Canyon. He'll return to Mexico in 1542 after visiting Kansas, which is really good because, well, um, the Spanish hadn't gotten to New Mexico yet, so. 1598, New Mexico founded. Uh, 1558, Queen Elizabeth I becomes the Queen of England. She will not be dethroned until 1603 and 1604, when James I will become the king and will sign a peace treaty with Spain. 
1577, Sir Francis Drake will uh, start his circumnavigation of the world. He will finish it in 1580. Oh, I forgot to. Fif 1497, um, Giovanni Caboto will start his first voyage. He will start his second voyage in 1498. Going on. 1583, Sir Humphrey Gilbert dies at sea while trying to found a Roanoke. Um, 1585, Roanoke founded by settlers. Um, among them were Sir Walter Raleigh, even though he stayed in England. He was a guy who chartered Roan I mean, Roanoke Island. 1587, Governor John White will eventually return to England. John White won't be able to return with sufficient supplies until 1590, and by then, he'll find that the colony was deserted, with a few trees saying Croatoan. Weird. 1565, St. Augustine founded, mainly to, to provide protection of Florida from British in the Bahamas. 1604, Port Royal founded. Uh, um, Nothing up there anywhere. Just looking up to think. Okay. Okay. Um, 16, <laughs> May 24th, 1607, Captain Miles Standish. Uh, Captain My right, Captain Miles Standish will uh, reach Jamestown. Jamestown will be the first successful British colony. How do you store all these numbers in your head? No one knows, and I haven't even gotten past 1610 yet, and after that I got like 12 million of them. Okay, keep going. Okay. Uh, 1608, Quebec founded. Montreal will be founded two years later in 1610. Right. 1619, the first slaves will, will reach Virginia as well as um, the House of Burgesses will be founded, which is basically um, Virginia's legislature. In 1620, the Pilgrims will set out for the New World. The first Thanksgiving will be celebrated by the Pilgrims um, next year. 1608 was when the Pilgrims had migrated to Holland from England. Changing camera angles so we don't get bored. Sixteen twenty nine, Massachusetts founded. Massachusetts Bay, actually, but sixteen twenty three, if I'm correct, Maine founded. Sixteen thirty four, um, Roger Williams is sued. He will be exiled in 1636, and that year he will found Providence, Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the most religiously tolerant of the New England colonies. In 1635 to 1636, Hol not Holland, I was going to say Holland, but that was happening a long time ago. <laughs> in, in 1635 and 1636, Hartford is founded, Hartford, Connecticut, which will later be the capital. Sixteen ninety three. I think I skipped like fifty years. Uh, Plymouth will merge with Massachusetts. Sixteen seventy one. New Hampshire becomes a separate colony from Massachusetts. They've been the same thing for quite a long time, but now they're separating. Sixteen forty three. Not only is Anne Hutchinson killed by Indians, um, but um, the the New England Confederation is founded, which is the first attempt of colonial unity. 1632, Lord Baltimore ch um, charters Maryland. Running out of time. We'll have to say goodbye for now. Okay. Then. Who would you like to thank for this information? Um, professor Young. Um, he is a professor of my history course that I'm taking. Okay. Um, bye now.